A Texas-based startup just made aviation history, completing the first U.S. flight test of a next-generation rocket engine that could be transformational for both hypersonic weaponry and commercial travel. Based in Houston, Texas, the mines behind Venus Aerospace recently took their rotating detonation rocket engine, or RDRE, and demonstrated its airworthiness during a test flight at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Venus's co-founder and CTO, Andrew Duggleby, said even though his engine uses detonation, the only thing explosive about the tests were the results. Yeah, in fact, we sort of laugh that our marketing team has work to do with the word detonation. But the, the scientific word really just means supersonic combustion. And so if I were to pour a strip of gasoline on the ground and then light it on one end, the gasoline doesn't move, right? But that flame would sort of go from one end to the other. And normally, it's that flame front is moving slower than the speed of sound. And that's what we think of as normal burning or deflagration is a scientific term. In the right conditions, that flame front can go faster than the speed of sound, and that's detonation. If you've ever seen the movie Backdraft, you're familiar with the scientific process of detonation. Check that door for heat, Tim. Which results in not just heat, but a positive pressure gain. When it comes to avionics, the increase in pressure from an RDRE is substantial. You know, detonation engines have been theorized for many, many decades. And to really frame this in the right perspective, you know, the SpaceX rocket engine is only about 2% better than the Apollo engines that took astronauts to the moon. And that 2% was fought over for decades. This technology is a 10 to 30% jump. So it's just, just massive. Duggleby says now that Venus's RDRE is proven flight worthy, the company will work to develop it into two main product lines. The first, a standalone rocket engine that could be used in existing weapon systems, put on new ones, or used on different sorts of vehicles. Ogilvy says since it's short and compact, the engine would work great on moon landers as well. However the military decides to use the engine, Ogilvy says Venus wants to make sure the DoD can afford to buy enough. He says the new RDREs are pricing out to be 10 times cheaper than the hypersonic engines, currently in use by the U.S. Navy and Air Force. And like, boy, that's that's got to make a difference, right? It doesn't doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to figure out that that would would change how we um, how we would fight in, in you know, a coming world where where hypersonic weapons are are reality. Hypersonic weapons are typically defined as maneuverable missiles capable of traveling at five times the speed of sound or faster. Russia and China both say they fielded hypersonic weapons. The U.S. is playing catch-up, but is closing the gap. The Army and Navy both helped develop the Dark Eagle weapon system, which will have a sea-launched variant soon. And while the U.S. military will no doubt need plenty of hypersonic engines, the commercial sector could also benefit from hypersonic flight. That's why the second product line Venus is developing combines the new cutting-edge rotating detonation rocket engine with older technology known as ramjet. Ramjet is basically when the vehicle is flying fast enough, the vehicle itself is compressing the air. And so when you let that air kind of compress into the engine, you now have all the pressure and temperature just in the air that all you have to do is spray fuel into it and it, and it combusts. In this new design, an RDRE sits in front of a ramjet in one enclosed unit. It's that combination of new and old, which Duggleby says will allow the technology to be used on commercial airliners one day. You know, this kind of flight to to the, you know, across the Pacific or flight across the Atlantic is now right a one one to two hour endeavor, and that really ultimately changes the world. Duggleby is a former college professor and Navy reservist. He says he was inspired to build the new rotating detonation rocket engine while repairing U.S. Navy ships in Japan. His wife and Venus co-founder, Sassy, was the only cousin who wasn't able to make it to her grandma's 95th birthday back in the States. Now, we may just be a few years away from being able to cross the world's largest oceans in the time it takes to watch a movie. For more updates like this, download the Straight Arrow News app today.